I'm gonna risk it. Sludge Wave. That's physical, right? Is it? This is a bad sign already. This is already a bad sign. Oh my god. Great. That was good. That was awesome. What the fuck? Why? Every god. How did you just crit me, dude? How? How does that turn one crit? I hate this guy. Hey guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Blaze Black to Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made our way here to Driftvale City. We got a few encounters, and in today's episode, we are going to be uh, more than likely taking on the Driftvale City gym because there isn't too much for us to do. Um, so we're going to start off the episode by dealing with the Team Plasma situation. We have to go talk to the ex Team Plasma members. Um, I believe that Hugh or Schmoman will show up and say something. We get a uh, gift. Zora, I believe it'll be and then that's pretty much all we can do before we take on clay so uh, Before we start this episode, however, we're going to do a quick little team recap because I have switched out three members of our team Hawk uh, Hawk Henry and Tara have been switched out because they will absolutely get their shit wrecked uh, If we go into that gym, there's no point in even having them on the team because they will not be used at all so I've come up with what will probably be the best team out of all the like Pokemon of the same four types that we have uh, to take on this gym. So starting off, we have Bulbs the Venusaur, level 40, Lonely Nature, nope, uh, Overgrow Ability, Rock and Razor Leaf, Leech Seed, Petal Dance, and Growth. I just woke up, like bear with me, my, my brain is not working right now. Uh, next up we have Spam the Stoutland, level 40, Quirky Nature, the Intimidate Ability, Rock and Return, Crunch, Work Up, and Leer. Next up, we have Cookie the Kingler, level 40, Brave Nature with the Sheer Force ability, Rock and Crab Hammer, Stomp, Hammer Arm, and Harden. Then, for our three new members of the squad, starting off, we have Marvin the Azumarill, level 40, Docile Nature with the Huge Power ability, Rock and Aqua Tail, Rain Dance, Double Edge, and Aqua Ring. Then we have Reggie the Snorlax, level 40, Bold Nature with the Gluttony ability, Rock and Body Slam, Lick, Amnesia, and Screech. And last but not least, we have Mr. Duck the Porygon, level 40, Lonely Nature. With the analytic ability, Rock and Try Attack, Discharge, Signal Beam, and Magnet Rise. However, we're going to evolve him real quick because I completely forgot to do that before I started this episode. And I was thinking about it. So before the teams actually pop up on the screen, uh, we're going to fix up uh, Mr. Duck. So, yeah. But <clears throat> I'm going to be giving Duck his Eviolite. And I'm going to be giving Reggie his uh, leftovers back. I gave him the Shell Bell or Sooth Bell. While I was grinding to get his friendship up as high as I could, uh, as fast as I could. So, we're going to give this to Reggie. I'm going to give, not that, I'm going to give this to Mr. Duck. And I'm actually going to give, I have the scope lens, I'm going to give that to Cookie. Because, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, whatever you call it, not one move that he has. Uh, Crab Hammer is already a high crit ratio. So, it'll probably work out. Now we're gonna go do this. I'm pretty sure we have to fight Rude. Rude? I don't know how to say his name. I'm pretty sure that's the sage we're about to talk to, right? Yes, it is. Okay. And, uh, I think he has, like, a Zoroark or a Stoutland. He should have a Stoutland. I'm, like, I'm pretty confident in the Stoutland. <clears throat> right? Yeah, there we are. It only makes sense. I'm pretty sure they all have, like, herd ears and whatnot on this in this game. Oh, okay. Why do you have Wild Charge? That's interesting. That could have been bad. All right, well, good job, Cookie. You immediately almost died. Um, not that it's your fault. Uh, who is who is my best bet for a Buffalon? Probably Bulbs. This thing probably has Head Charge. And uh, that one other move. I think Head Charge is the scary one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there it is. Oh my god. That's terrifying. No thanks. Head Charge is a killer's move. I don't know why they... I don't know why it exists, but it is terrifying. And I'm not a fan of it. Also, it only does recoil, and it does, like, so much damage. I'd rather it just recharge. But obviously, that'd be stupid, because it doesn't really need to recharge all that much. Uh, okay. 
All right. Well, luckily the leech seed. I, I'm glad I used leech seed right there, because the fact that I'm level 40 and head charge is still doing this much damage, I'm I'm so thankful that I actually grinded before I did all this bullshit. Because if I had died or lost anybody, uh, and I did this last episode, we would have been fucked. Psychic. All right. Well, I swallow that. A body slam. Now, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident in our team. I honestly think that they will be more than enough to take out uh, Clay. But I also think there's a good chance somebody's going to die. So that's our biggest problem. So, <clears throat> all right. Anywho, uh, I guess we have all this exploration that we now have to deal with. Where's point? Like, he acts like I like. I understand that Hugh was probably like what, f fucking like six years old at best uh, when Perloin got stolen. <laughs> but um, like straight up, why does he think that any any random ass team plasma grunt is gonna remember stealing a Perloin from a five year old? And yes, I get it. It's sentimental. You know, his grandpa's dead. Uh, his sister got the purloin from that, but I don't know, man. I don't know about you guys, but it's kind of dumb. He's definitely, like, I definitely like, uh, <clears throat> I definitely like Hugh more than I liked Terran and Bianca in the original games. Uh, they're not as, Terran and Bianca aren't really that bad in the second games. Then again, they're like, what, five years older? I think. Is that, is that how... Is it a five-year time skip? Time skip? It can't be five years. I think it's only two. Well, it could be five. Then again, like how old? How old? Like, what are the ages for the Gen Five characters? Like when in the original games? Because I think they were the first ones to be older than um to be older than like t ten or eleven. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're like. 15, too. So, I don't know. If it's a two-year time skip, then, like, Terran and Bianca are, like, what? 17, 18? And otherwise... Was that all I had to do in here? Like, I'm gonna double-check. And otherwise, they're, like, I don't know. Maybe a little older? If it's five years, then they're, like, 20. And it's, like, goddamn. In plasma. Do you guys have anything for me? No? No? Okay. Well, that sucks. Also, that Zora is only level 25, which is kind of sad. But then again... Like, I guess, I don't know if you get it in the original games. I don't think you do. You might. You might. I don't know. <clears throat> All right. Um, I have anything I can sell so I can actually, like, buy stuff. No. I'm on, like, a limit on how many uh, hyper potions I have right now. And it's definitely not enough to get through this gym. So what we're going to have to do... Is I'm gonna have to try to take on like all the gym. Oh, Hugh, please don't tell me you're gonna make me fight you. I don't feel like doing that right now. I'm gonna be honest. Let's start off with Mr. Duck. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Challenging the gym. Okay, well, I don't really care, Hugh. Bring a water type. That'd probably be smart, because I actually don't think. No, he might. Um, he's probably. Clay's probably gonna have counter for both. Uh, some kind of counter for both water and, um,. And grass types. If I had to venture a guess, uh, let's see. He could very well just have a Nidoking King that has both Ice Beam and Thunderbolt. <clears throat> that would make sense. He could also have he could also have a Clay Doll, which yeah, hey, there he is. Um, now unfortunately, Duck doesn't have any Ice type moves, but you know what? Like he's still a better choice with Tri Attack than literally any of the other three that I switched out. Um, all right, I think Marvin can handle this. So, overall, I think this team will be fine. They're not exactly... Fire Punch, interesting. All right. They're not, like... My biggest fear is the um, Excadrill. Because that motherfucker is probably going to have Sword Stance. And that is the most terrifying thing I've ever experienced. So, my game plan for that is that we're gonna go in to cookie for it. And with the scope lens, hopefully, 
we'll be landing some crits with Crab Hammer. Probably not, though, with my luck. Now, why are you... You have so many Pokemon. What is going on? I know, and, like, also on top of that, um, his eight... So, the, uh, the extra deal is going to be level 42, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's going to be 42. So, that means that I'm going to already be, like, a slightly lower level. And that's kind of, uh, that's kind of scary if I'm being honest with you guys. Because, you know, that's not a good thing. That's really not a good thing. Alright, let's see how much a Tri-Attack does to you. A lot. That's fantastic. And with the, and honestly, with the Eviolite, this is going to be so much easier. Uh, because Duck is just going to be eating the hits for the most part. Like, probably not eating the hits from an Excadrill that has, like, you know, Swords Dance. But eating the hits from almost everything else. And that'll definitely work out. Now, it, and that's what kind of sucks about him not having an ice set move, is that mean, that means I can't even really go out to the extra drill uh, with Duck, because Duck's just gonna, like, he has nothing to hit it. Everything is resisted. Either, it's either not gonna, like, it's either resisted or immune. So, it's not exactly the best thing to have. But, these guys have a lot of Pokemon. Which gives me a lot of time to get some experience. Unfortunately, all of them are giving me nothing. Because none of them have, like, evolved Pokemon. And that's great. What does this do? Oh. Okay. Well, that's good. Alright, I guess I'll go over here. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna try, like... Right now, I'm just trying to take on all of the gym trainers I can. Because I'm gonna need potions. I'm gonna definitely need potions for this gym. Because bad things will happen otherwise. Very bad things. AKA, I'm going to die. So, not really feeling that if I'm being honest with you guys. I'm going to just try to get the light on for everything here. Just so then I can have a general idea on where I need to go. Okay, there we go. Cool. Another uh, person we can fight. I don't know how many gym trainers are in here. But considering they all have like four Pokemon, that's really good for me. Uh, I'm actually really glad that we have Cookie, just because uh, Cookie's physical defense is a lot higher. And we can prove it right now by being blown up. Right? Right, Cookie? Hello. That didn't that didn't make me feel any better. Alright, is this thing going to explode too? Because I don't want it. But, uh, I mean, aside from... Okay, yep. Alright, I guess that's what's happening right now. Aside from the fact that uh, there's Pokemon in here trying to blow up... Oh god, this motherfucker's gonna do the exact goddamn thing. Okay, now... 106... And you're living with half. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in. Because if these things are gonna keep blowing up... Like, I'm gonna need somebody who can actually eat the hits. I should've used a fresh water. Bulldoze. Okay. And my speed fell. That's not good. Crab Hammer, I still kill you. You have sturdy. Fuck you. Alright, that's fine. Hammer arm. And honestly, like, Cookie's got hammer arm too, so if I run out of, um, what you call them? If I run out of, uh, crab hammers, hammer arm will still probably do the trick to the, uh, Excadrill. Probably not my preferred method for that thing, but... Oh, hey, I'm already at clay. That's not where I want to be. I want to fight more trainers. And you're not giving me that. Okay, over here. And then down here. And then over here. Nope. Over here? No? Over here? I just want gym trainers to fight, dude. I just need... I need money. Please, I'm desperate. I'm all out of gym trainers, aren't I? Oh my god, I think I'm all out of gym trainers. Please. There has to be, like, one. There's no way I'm completely out of gym trainers to fight. There you are. Hey. How's it going, bud? Alright. Um... I honestly feel like I should be focusing more of my other Pokemon, but... I really think... Once I get Cookie up to level 42, I'll focus on everybody else, which I think this Whiskash... Nope, it doesn't provide that. Great. Alright, then in that case, I'm gonna kill this Hippopotas. Then, I'm gonna try to get Bulbs a few... at least a level. Then again, if this is literally the last trainer, then that's not gonna happen. So, let's just Razor Leaf you. And... Maybe this... Oh, uh, no. I can't stay in with you. I can go to Marvin, though. Marvin? Duck. Marvin Duck. Marvin Duck. Um, Marvin. Marvin, you just gotta eat, like, an overheat. Or rock slide, actually. That's fine, too. Okay, works out. Um, uh, I don't think... 
I don't know how fast Camera Up is. Camera Up shouldn't be fast, but apparently Marvin's pretty goddamn slow from what I learned last uh, series. So, there we go. Marvin's level 41 at least. So, hey, I guess that works out. Alright, thanks, sir. Um, hopefully that's all the money I'm going to need. So, let's try to get the fuck out of here. And I think all the lights are going to stay on when I leave. I hope they do, because I don't want to have to go through that again. I'm going to be real with you guys. We're already 14 minutes into this episode, so I guess, honestly, we might as well just take on the gym. That's going to be a longer episode, so that's nice. It works out, at least. All right, uh, let's see how much money we made. I don't think we made that much. So we're probably going to get all of, like, five super or hyper potions out of this. Oh, yeah, we're actually rich. Nine, I'll take it. That's actually good enough for me. Okay, in that case, let's get into this gym. Now, I don't know what he's going to start off with. In the normal games, I'm pretty sure he starts off with a hip out on. But what if he just doesn't have the hip out on in this in this game? If I had to venture a guess, okay, so strong ground types for him to have. Obviously, his extra drill is still going to be his ace. I would imagine him having a Nidoking. king. I think a Claydol makes sense for him to have, possibly, but I honestly don't know what else he could possibly have, which is probably not a good thing. Um, how... Oh, I gotta get down there. Okay. Is it over here? No, it is not. Okay. Uh, is it over here? Nope. Is it this? Nope. Nope. How do I... I just... I fought him. I got to him last time, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong this time around. Um... <clears throat> I think it's up here. Yeah, I gotta get over to that one. Okay. Well, I should definitely use these elevators, but I'm gonna take my sweet-ass time, I guess. Okay. Um... Up here. Up here. Over here. And then over here? There we are. Look at that. I did it. Not a single problem at all. It took me way longer than it should have, but that's fine. Who do I start off with? Um... I think... <clears throat> I think the play... I think the play is to start off with... Probably Reggie. I'm gonna start off with Reggie and see how things go. This, this is quite literally the Nuzlocke killer of um, Blaze Black and Blaze Black 2. So, this could very well just be like the end of this entire series. Because there's physically no way that I can... Um, a crocodile. Oh yeah, a crocodile makes sense actually. Uh, I don't think there's like literally any way that with the Pokemon I have left in my box, I will be able to take out this gym. So... We're gonna have to hope and pray for the best here. Sandstorm. Ah, that makes sense. He's gonna set up Sandstorm. So that means he probably has no Pokemon with Sandstream. So that means he probably doesn't have his hip out on. Which is probably a good thing for us. Because that gives me uh, a better chance of getting rid of all of this. Earthquake. Oh boy. Now, unfortunately, Reggie's not the best when it comes to physical uh, defense. He's more of a special defense kind of wall. But. The para is beautifully well-timed. That's actually really good, because I don't think I got a single goddamn para the entire time I was grinding him up with Body Slam. So this is like his first battle on screen, and he gets a para turn one. Fantastic, Reggie. Putting in the work already. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of you. What's gonna come out now? I don't think he has anything to with a fighting type move. Seismitoad. Hmm, interesting. I want to go into bulbs, but I can almost guarantee this thing has Ice Beam. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm going to go into Duck. Because at least with my Eviolite, I can scope out what's going to happen, and I really doubt it's going to be able to kill me. So, I think it'll work out. Seismitoad, what do you have for us? I can Magnet Rise, too. I'm going to Troll. I'm going to Magnet Rise real quick, and then... We'll uh, take care of business. There we go. Now this is why I kept Magnet Rise on him. I, he learned it like last. He literally learned it just before this battle. Hydro Pump actually might put me down to kill range. Okay, no, it doesn't. All right, well, Sandstorm kill range. 
All right. Um, I'm now thinking about it. Um, try attacks probably gonna be what I keep going for, just cause I'm gonna try to get this fucker down to healing range. That was a crit. Great. Okay. I'm gonna try to get this thing down to healing range, so then he doesn't have his hyper potion. How are you hitting all these? There's no reason for this. Uh, get it down to healing range, then he'll use his uh, hyper potion. Dude, what? He just landed all of his hydro pumps. I hate this. This game is bullshit. Okay. We're gonna magnet rise. Sandstorm, that's fine. Set up your sandstorm, I don't care. You have nothing to hit me with now, you piece of shit. Let's try attack. He has more hydro pumps! He landed another, oh my god. Why, like, how did you just land all of your hydro pumps? Okay, there. Now you can heal, you piece of shit. You fucker. I hate this guy. I hate Clay already. I'm already tired of him. Okay, well, I'm already mad because now he landed, he just landed all of his Hydro Pumps, didn't miss a single one, one of them crit me, and that just means bad things for us. So, ooh, a para, fantastic. All right, try attack is really kind of helping me out right here. I should just go into duck with Ex Excadrill and pray that I can get a, uh, get a burn. That would be awesome. It's not gonna happen. All right, now I can kill this Seismitoad. The Sandstorm's not up. Let's hope that he has no more Pokemon with Sandstorm, and then we won't have to deal with it for the rest of the battle. I think he has three more Pokemon. And Nidoking, there it is, okay. So Nidoking probably has Thunderbolt, probably has Ice Beam. I'm gonna go into Spam. Because if on the off chance it has a fighting type move, it's probably a physical fighting type move. I don't think he learns Focus Blast. So I can get the Intimidate drop, <clears throat> and I can just go for Return, and we'll probably be crystal clear, right? However, before I do, um, do I want to work up? Do I want to risk a work up? I'm gonna work. I'm gonna risk it. Sludge Wave. That's physical, right? Is it? This is a bad sign already. This is already a bad sign. Oh my god. Great. That was good. That was awesome. What the fuck? Why? Every goddamn... <sighs> How did you just crit me, dude? How? How does that turn one crit? I hate this game. This game hates me. Okay, Sludge Wave's a special attack, right? It is. Okay. Wow, I just wanted to work up. Like, that's all I wanted to do. Okay. I should probably set up my... Oh my god, okay. Is Sludge Wave a high crit ratio? Like, is that what happened? Or is this game just bullshit? Because I think it's just that this game is bullshit. Wow, we were doing really good. We've only had one death, and now we have two. So, that's fantastic. That's always what you love. You love to see it, don't you? I'm gonna set up Amnesia. Like, get the fuck out of my face. You piece of shit. Okay. Well, uh, honestly, I hope that he's not going to go into the Excadrill after this uh, Nitto King, because I just want to take out whatever his other Pokemon is and be okay with it. It's a Life Orb. Interesting. So it can it does have physical moves. It's Life Orbed, and that's really not good for me. Really not too too sweet. Not exactly what I want to see. But Nitto King's dead. Good. I'm really upset that Spam is dead, because, like, that was awful. Why did that happen? Why did that have to happen? There was no reason for it. But here we are. Alright, what's your next Pokemon, you piece of shit? It's a Claydol. I knew it. You fucker. Alright, well, um, I guess I did quite literally say there's probably no way we're getting out of this gym without a death, but, like, I when I said that, I, I really meant... There's no way we're getting out of this gym without sacking somebody. And now the sandstorm's up. Okay. <coughs> oh, God. Well, my sadness has made me cough up a lung, so. Hmm. Wow. All right. Uh, now, I have to sit here and wait for the sandstorm to subside before I actually do anything. Because... I'm not taking on the Excadrill with the Sandstorm up. I'm just not doing it. There's no reason for me to do it that way. Um, let's go for another Screech. 
Just lower its defenses down to nothing, so then hopefully... Now, unfortunately, I don't outspeed it. So, I'm going to have to hope... I'm going to attack it this next turn, and I'm going to hope that the Sandstorm subsides this turn. Oh, great. Hmm. That's not good. All right. We're going to attack it this turn. We're going to hope that it's not going to set up Sandstorm. Good. All right. There's no way that Dreano put Sandstorm on the Excadrill, because that'd be stupid. The Excadrill's here to just make my life a living hell. So that's what it should do. Unfortunately, what I'm really scared of is that uh, Crab Hammer is not going to do like any damage to it, and that like it's going to just immediately set up um, Sword Stance and just wreck my team. Because I think even one Sword Stance and an Earthquake would probably one-shot most, if not my entire team. He has an Air Balloon. Well, I'm glad it's an Air Balloon and not anything else. Okay, we're going to go for the Crab Hammer. He's setting up Sword Stance. He's outspeeding me. Um, <clears throat> not good. Really bad sign. Uh, how much does that do? I'm really... I'm just a genius. I'll tell you what, boys. I'm just a genius. That... That is for spam. That's for spam. I'll tell you what, boys. That right there was revenge. In the sweetest... The sweetest form. I'm so happy. That... Could have been awful. That could have been really bad. And Cookie, Cookie watched. Cookie watched as Spam fell, and thought, you know what? I'm not having it. And just fucking demolished. Of all the Pokemon, demolished Excadrill, who was just ready to set up, doing the same thing that I was doing to Spam, just to get one shotted. That made me happy. That made me really happy. Unfortunately, now I have to go lay my poor, uh, spam to rest. So, <clears throat> that makes me really sad. That makes me really, really sad. Because it was really nice having spam on the team. And now, and now she's dead. <laughs> and now I'm just not happy. Okay, well, that was probably the most tame clay battle I've ever experienced in my life. I've, I don't think I've ever had a battle that easy. Like, other than, obviously, other than the Sludge Wave crit turn one, uh, that was, that was really good. So, I guess in that case, I'm gonna lay poor Spam to rest <clears throat> next to Clint, who, Clint, if you're watching this, I'm still sorry. Like, I'm still sorry. So, unfortunately with that, we are going to be calling it an episode. Um, I think, so I have to choose between one of them to keep on the team, right? Like, that's the smart thing. Um, <clears throat> do I want to keep both of them and keep Henry off the team? No, I still need, I need an Intimidate. I need one Intimidator. So we're going to put Reggie in the box for now. Reggie, honestly, should be fine. In the like, Reggie should be fine in the box. Uh, Duck should be fine on the team, so I think it'll work out. But with that, I think we're gonna call an episode. This is like one of the longest episodes we've had. I think this is the longest episode of the uh, series. But uh, with that, we're gonna call it here. Next episode, we are going to be doing the whole uh, Pokemon World Championship tournament thing. Uh, and <clears throat> I think there we take on Colrus, we take on, uh, Hugh, and we take on, I think, somebody else. And I think it's just a random, I think it's just, like, one random drainer. So, or it's Terran. I think it's that. Um, I don't know if we're gonna count it, because I feel like, I feel like during that, you only have, like, a certain amount of Pokemon you can use. Uh, so I don't know if we'll count it. If anything dies, we might. It's gonna, it's gonna depend on how the setup of the tournament is. But with that, and here we're going to end it here, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you do smash that like button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and get deposit right into that PC party. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at PCButtMaster. Join the Discord. Link is down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I am PCButtMaster, and I'll see you guys next time.